what's going on guys this is jammer 2k back with another player review this time it's the 91 rated Mesut Ozil featured in the latest team of the week I've been able to use them for a few days now so I'm gonna give you my first impressions on the card and there will be gameplay in the background it's foot champs a couple of foot champs games from earlier today actually qualifiers and a few season games weirdly Ozil isn't really a meta player, you never see him in squads and people don't really like using him, I mean I can see why and that's going by the 91 upgrade don't get me wrong, he is a good player but he doesn't feel like a 91 rated player and I suppose that's because most of his points are dropped in the passing stats and I think it's widely agreed that passing stats are the least relevant in terms of what a player needs to succeed I mean don't get me wrong there were three or four occasions where Ozil pulled out a pass that was sublime but they're too few and far between especially when you could replace him with a more defensive minded player or even other attacking midfielders within his price range I mean I definitely advise going for an inform Ericsson ahead of the German international. Aside from passing there are things that Ozil was good at. He's a brilliant dribbler and he's a lot faster than you'd expect especially considering the low pace stat on the card. As you might expect he can finish pretty easily, get him in position, have a crack and it will probably go in. He's noticeably stronger than his base card but he's still very weak to the point where he'll get barged off easily and he can't even attempt to make a challenge I mean I think he had one successful slide tackle in roughly 12 games so that should give you some idea of just how lax his defensive capabilities are it's obviously not his role and it's evident that he's a luxury player but there are other luxurious players that tackle far better than he does even players like Hazard or Messi are much faster and more aggressive or a Vardy for example so I suppose it does make sense that most people don't use him and to be fair I didn't see any in the games I'd played since he was released I know the review has been fairly negative so far and don't get me wrong he is a good player and he is capable of moments of magic but there are too many quality midfielders in the Premier League I'd rather have the SBC, Deli Alley, or even just a normal Ericsson, to be honest. I guess it can be hard to translate Ozil's skills into a video game. And to be honest, they've struggled. He's a bit of a shit player and really doesn't do the real life Ozil justice. If you're desperate for an attacking midfielder that has no defensive capabilities, and may come out of the good pass one out of ten times then yeah go for him but otherwise I'd stay well clear it's not even that he's shit it's just that he's not as good as he should be and that's more annoying if anything I'm gonna start wrapping up here as you can tell Ozil was an acquired taste and he just wasn't for me let me know in the comments if you're going to grab him yourself and let me know how he was for you. Um, feel free to like and sub if you've made it this far. Thanks for watching guys, I'll be back with more reviews when the next team of the week's out.